This is Hobby Jackal and Pyromantic Poachers have been sighted in the Narwood. The fourth of our incoming Warcry autumnal aggressors has been revealed in the form of the Vulcan Flame Seekers. Hailing from the Fire Slayers, the Ear of the Beast has inspired these short, but capable, warriors to spread their beliefs and add to their flammable reptilian collections. Whilst most Fire Slayers have a strong opinion of Volcatrix, a great god beast who slew their ancestor god Grimnir and then merged with his essence, that opinion is that Volcatrix is just terrible, utterly rubbish and deserving of death. However, the Lofnir Lodge believe the long-dead Ur Salamander is actually worthy of worship precisely because it felled their beloved father. These Dwardian devotees will go to great lengths to recover and incubate magma drop eggs that formed when Grimnir and Volcatrix's spirits scattered. These Vulcan flame seekers are the most ardent adherents to this creed and each is an expert beastmaster to boot. They're accompanied into battle by the utterly adorable magma drop puppies known as Kindle Drops. As an added twist, they also seek the scattered Volcazar, sacred flames unleashed by Volcatrix's death infused with divine power. And that's because some of them suggest that if you shove that power into a magma drop, it does unusual things but makes them super, super powerful. Each of these warbands is led by a Vulcan rune father, adorned with drake motifs and armed with either a drop vault great axe or a shovel like master crafted bokers. It's the drop masters who are the magma drop tamers and whose pauldrons are fitted with magma drop eggs. Because who's going to argue with their sense of fashion? That is just cool. I'm wearing eggs right now. However, as the realm of Gur itself does tend to send beasts a little bit nutty, many of the Magma Drops have become too frenzied to tame. Dealing with them falls to the Drothblood Thanes, who put these unruly creatures down with the help of Scale Breakers and the rest of the Warband. When such a killing occurs, the Magma Drops skin and scales are repurposed for cloaks and armour, allowing the Dwarden to take on some of their legendary resilience and venerate them by looking proper fancy. This hunt for holy flames and sizzling eggs sends Vulcan flame seekers all over the mortal realms, and that includes our wonderfully friendly and definitely not meaty tree infested Narwood, where vast menageries of beasts congregate and grubby greenskins currently run about with stolen eggs. Now the Fire Slayers are a range that has never really caught my eye previously, but these models are absolutely fantastic, as nearly everything we see for Warcry is. So when are we likely to get our hands on these? Well, we've already seen a roadmap which does indicate that these are one of the four warbands that will be arriving in in autumn. Now I'd originally expected that the box that we've seen in completion, which is Ogres versus Cities of Sigma, would perhaps be arriving at the start of autumn to be followed by this one at the end of the autumn period. However, given that they've shown us every single warband, I do wonder if they're going to be arriving together. As the Warcry roadmap had listed the four new warbands as Order versus Destruction, once we'd seen the Ogres versus Cities of Sigma box, I assumed that the Cruel Boys and now these Fire Slayers would be boxed in a similar fashion. However, at the end of this Fire Slayers reveal video, it does look like they're coming in a box on their own in a similar fashion to the Chaos Legionnaires before. So it does seem likely that we won't see a warband tome for them, nor an additional piece of scenery for the Narwood boxed with them. However, like the Chaos Legionnaires, some of this content may well make its way into a White Dwarf magazine. Finally, I'll finish by saying that I had predicted that the Sylvan F would be the Order Warband in this box. And the rationale for this was that they were named drop in the Narwood lore video produced by Warhammer TV, where many of the warbands that have appeared in the Narwood were not really mentioned or briefly touched upon. Additionally, in that video, there was an image of a Night Haunt in the Narwood, so there is a chance that the next box or next couple of warbands coming along could be Sylvan F and Night Haunt. However, that is a bit of a reach because they might have just included Sylvan F in the video because, you know, forest. Anyway, that's all from me and you can check out some of my other videos relating to Warcry on the screen right now. Thank you for watching. Cheers!